Beyond belief, fact or fiction. These days people be so fake. As we doom scroll our phones, we are constantly challenged with determining the difference between what is fact and what is fiction. We come across insane viral headlines, staged pranks and staged fails that just seem too good to be true. And then we're always left wondering why the fuck were they even filming in the first place? But you know, I keep it real. If something's fake, I'll be the first motherfucker to call that shit out. Because I always go balls deep in the paint. And that is a fact. Kobe. That's right, bitches. Let's start the show. Hey, Ted, I'm gonna brew up some beans. I gotta get these bowels moving. I'll take a fully loaded Colt brew with an extra shot. <laughs> you know, ever since you bought that gun, it seems to be all you think about and all you talk about. Last night, I overheard you in your sleep talking like Yosemite Sam saying you're gonna shoot everyone. Yeah, one of these days you'll be thanking me I brought this gun home. Whatever you say, Ted. Yosemite Sam was a gunslinging outlaw. Didn't take shit from no one. Just stood his ground. I think I might take this bad boy in the backyard and let off a few rounds. Oh, I really wish you wouldn't do that. Well, here we go again with that fucking anti-freedom talk. Do you trust me? Ted, it's not that I don't trust you. It's just that guns are dangerous. Last time you went in the backyard and shot off a few rounds, you killed the neighbor's cat. And don't you remember the last time we went to Walmart, you shot the greeter. And he was blind and in a wheelchair. You're lucky he was wearing a bulletproof vest. Yeah. Just put the gun away. Yeah. Well... You know, I was thinking about instead of putting it away, why don't you hold on to it for a while? Oh, God, no, Ted. I don't want to hold on to it. You know I got hands made of butter. Don't you want to know what it feels like? I already told you. Mm-hmm. I don't want it. We're always doing that dumb shit you like to do all the time, like reading books in bed and talking about our feelings. Oh, God, Ted, I really don't want it. I had a lot of bad experiences being around guns. Yeah, because that's the problem right there is because you didn't have a gun of your own. If you had a 44 Magnum, no one would ever fuck with you. You'd be unstoppable. <laughs> I can't believe the way they treated us like that. It's fucking horse shit and it's unacceptable. I'm never eating at Applebee's ever again. Well, you were acting like a madman. When he said soup of the day, I thought he was calling me gay. I had to do something. So you take out your gun? I had to act fast. I just got these boot holsters and that guy had a knife. It was all instinct. <laughs> I'm really excited for my NRA convention speech this year. Oh yeah? What you gonna do for them, Ted? I'm doing a talk on defensive gun twirling. Should probably use something a little safer, not the Magnum. Oh, this one? No, I'm leaving this one behind for you. All my big guns are coming with me on the plane. I've cleaned them five times each. Did ya? <sighs> I should probably clean them again. Yeah, yeah I'll probably do that. Uh, you know I'm gonna miss you, baby. I know. You gonna miss me? Hmm? No promises. Mm. <laughs> you scared something might happen? No, 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 no. I'll be able to get some good sleep, knowing all those guns are gone. It's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bullseye, baby. All right, I'm gonna go drop a tactical nuke in the guest bathroom before I head out. If you had a 44 Magnum, no one would ever fuck with you. Fuck with you. Fuck with you. Soup of the day? I thought he was calling me gay. 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 <laughs> no! Mom! Stop! It's me, Trevor! Stop! Mom! It's me! Mom! It's me, your son! Mom, please fucking stop! What the hell are you doing? Put the gun down! Oh, God! I was gonna shoot you! <laughs> Defensive gun twirling. Twirling. It's all instinct. I don't like the way that Walmart greeter keeps fucking looking at me. Looking at me. Looking at me. <laughs> fuck you and fuck Applebee's. Applebee's. <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> Applebee's. Applebee's. Look at that, Trevor. There was an intruder. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> Did you know that if a man pees on a pregnancy test and it comes out positive, then it means he's probably gay? It's true. 
Just like the previous story we told you, the gun-obsessed husband was able to manifest himself pulling the trigger even though he was miles and miles away. <laughs> it's insane what people can do with Photoshop and filters on their cell phones. You know what I mean. I'm not the only one who showed up for an online date and the girl was 400 pounds heavier than advertised. But when it comes to my photos, my profile is strictly facts. Now let's say I want to play the game everyone else is playing and add a little bit of fiction. Look at that. Wow, okay, yeah, I guess I'm a little bit more attractive with that filter on, but let's go ahead and push things a little bit further. Wow. Well, we've already made it this far, so we might as well fuck around and find out, so... Let's go beyond what is believable. It's like I'm feeling aroused for a sexy sister I never had. I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Our next story is all about a gorilla and his best friend. But he's not some ordinary gorilla. He's a gorilla that's actually a robot gorilla. Can you guess? It's true? <laughs> hey, hey, easy over there, Goro. Some of this stuff's really expensive, you know? Now, why don't you come over here? Let me talk to you. Do you love me? <laughs> yeah. Love you, too. It's been a long five months. I practically gave birth to you. All those long nights of breastfeeding you, grooming you, and banging on our chests together. You're my best buddy. Be man! <laughs> you you hear that? Be working in there. It's Perry. Is that fucking gorilla up and running yet, or what? Where the fuck are you, Beeman? You better not be eating bananas with that fucking thing. Oh, there you are, you fucking nerd. How's this thing going? Uh, it's going all right. I just gotta work out a few kinks as AI goes bananas sometimes. Yeah, well, I'm about to go ape shit because the studio wants this thing by tonight. No excuses. I'm gonna need more time. <sighs> when Peter Jackson calls you and says he needs a monkey because he's directing a live-action reboot of Tarzan starring Johnny Depp, you deliver that man a fucking monkey. Goro's a special gorilla. He has the capacity to express love and human emotions. Shut the fuck up, okay? You're just a monkey-loving pussy. You're just jealous of what I've created and my bond with Goro. What? <laughs> you really think I give a fuck about your feelings? You know, you're lucky you're even still here working for me after you single-handedly ruined the production of E.T. 2. Remember when we had Steven Spielberg in here? And you made E.T.'s finger blow up like some kind of bomb? Spielberg's a hack. Mm, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, you keep up with this shitty fucking attitude of yours and we'll see what happens. You think you're so much better than anyone else. But do you think you're better than me? Well, I'll tell you what, you're not better than me because I'm wearing a power suit, all khaki, top to bottom, fucking cack. And you never fuck with the cack, because when you fuck with the cack, the cack fucks back. Tomorrow morning, Beeman. Better be done. They can't take you away from me, Goro, if you don't have an AI chip in your motherboard. I love you so much. Hello? Anyone here? God, I can't see anything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fucking startled me. Anyone here? Seems like I'm all alone. <sighs> Half a million dollar pile of worthless junk. Oh, God. Wait a minute, this thing actually fucking works? squeeze my fucking banana? <laughs> yeah, that'll be just fine. You motherfucker. You like that? <laughs> Let's see if we can loop this animation. Oh, Can't believe I'm about to fuck an animatronic ape. God, it's like he's begging for it. I'll make it quick. <clears throat> Battle mode, engage. Hey, what the hell's going on? Threat detected. <clears throat> Don't look at me. What the hell's going on here? Just, just go back to what you were doing before. Just up and down motion with the arm. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? Hey, hey, hey what are you doing? <laughs> Somebody help me! 
Go to the thing trying to kill me! Somebody! Okay, gorillas don't know how to go upstairs. Oh god! Oh god, please, somebody help me, please! I'm too rich for this! Star Trek fans come up to me all the time and they'd be like, Hey, John, man, what's it like being on that starship, you know? And I gotta tell them, actually, it's just like your mom's pussy. This shit is beyond belief. <laughs> Pretty much lived in it. That's a fact. Just like that last story. Although there were no signs of foul play, there were traces of semen on all of the animatronics, props, and masks. Mm, I love Chinese food. That's true. It's a fact. However, that sweet orange chicken always gives me the greasiest, most explosive diarrhea. And then for days afterwards, I get just the hottest farts and shit stains on the walls of my toilet bowl that I just can't scrub away, but at least there's always a fortune cookie waiting for me at the end of the meal. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken, you have a drumstick and your butt starts stinking. Well, that is true, but it doesn't matter how many times you warn me. I'm gonna eat like this till I die. All right, is the camera rolling? Yeah, 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 I'm rolling. Come on, let's go. Uh, I cannot believe we're about to do this. This is going to be our big fucking moment, guys. Just like when Logan Paul went to Japan. We get this footage, we do a little apology tour, and then we start doing celebrity boxing. Uh, whatever, man. Just keep that camera rolling, Zach. Let's just get this thing over with already. Wait a minute. It's already open. Um, that's weird. Why wasn't it locked? Well... This is one of the more popular spots for the Corpse Kisser subreddit. Shut up, Zach. That's fucking Hey, wild. relax. I'm not saying I'm into it. It's just that these corpses out here are probably getting more action than all three of us put together. Now, the camera's rolling, guys. Let's stop wasting this footage, okay? Start acting real scared, and I'll start the YouTube intro. <clears throat> Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Crypt Crackers. Be sure to like this video because it may be our last. We've just snuck into our local graveyard and found an unlocked crypt that belongs to none other than Captain Cocksucker. <laughs> Who knows what could be inside this crypt? Don't forget to join us for the hashtag to file the dead challenge. Now let's crack this crypt open. I don't think it's a good idea to call him a cocksucker. We're gonna get demonetized. You really think Manscaped cares about this dead guy's dick and balls? Just fucking open it up already. Hey, man, why don't you fucking open it up? No, dude, I got the camera. I'm way better with the camera. Besides, you two have way better blowjobby react faces than I do. Make sure you guys open your mouths and your eyes as much as you can. Rolling. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and crack this crypt open. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's open up those mouths. <laughs> Did you see that? It farted! I think we got our thumbnail. Dude, can somebody please fucking tell me how a dead guy just farted in my mouth? It must be all that trapped gas from being dead for so long. The sign here says he was a Civil War cannon operator. I guess he just had to fire off one last round. This is gonna be the greatest video we ever made. No way, dude. I'm fucking done here. If I find out that I'm haunted because I inhaled this guy's stinky soul, I'm fucking... I'm so I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Guys, 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 calm down. Come on now. Where are you going? Are we not gonna get the money shot? You guys both know the challenge isn't complete unless we take a selfie with the corpse. All right. That's more like it. All right. Now lift it up real fast so it's like a jump scare. Okay. Up, up, up. Come on. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 yeah, he's so fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, he kind of looks like Captain Crunch. Okay, let me put this down real quick. Let's go in. Oh, dude, he has a sword. Not anymore. This loser rage quit a long time ago. It's mine now. Oh, my God, his hand is still gripping on it. All right, all right, I'll fucking put it back. Just relax, okay? <laughs> I'll put the hand right back on his dick. <laughs> oh, fuck. What the hell was that sound? Well, I knew you were a corpse kisser. Oh oh, I'm out of here. Come on, guys, oh. I was just doing it for the content. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, my hand. Oh, God, it's like he's sucking on my hand. Help. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's Please just not tell anyone, okay? Help. Dude, Zach, are you all right, man? Zach, the door's locked. Zach? You kids are lucky I didn't catch you when you first got here. Legally, as the gravekeeper, I'm allowed to shoot any trespassers on sight. More than half of this cemetery is because of me. 
Someone's got to protect the dead. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. There he is. Come on, guys, please. I can't feel Everyone my hand. Everyone left. Okay. There we go. Guys, my hand. It's bleeding. Look. Duma? What the hell is that? Do my balls fit in your mouth? Got them. Yep, that's what you get. This man was a respected war general, and he got you good. Must have been quite the jokester in his day. Although the dead may be forgotten, when it comes to jokes, they still got them. <laughs> That last story was only half true. We made up the whole ghost thing. The gravekeeper actually shot the children on site for trespassing. And now that I've completely shattered your perception of reality, I'm going to rock so fucking hard. Mm -hmm.